So I made a stupid decision. I think somebody came and told me that somebody didn't like me and they wanted to fight me outside or something like that. And I don't know what that was. But, eh, went outside, went downstairs, didn't see him there. So I yelled for this person to come out or whatever, but they never did. So maybe they were making fun of me. I don't know. I think that maybe that person left. But the security guard came over. And I think he told me to, to like stop making noise and just go back to my room or something like that. But I was being too much of an idiot and I was like loaded and kind of going in and out of this blackout. And so he got this thing where like he grabbed me and, and I was trying to like pull away from him and he got his like hands around my throat. I didn't like that, so I dropped all my weight, and I, like I, I bit him on his knee. I think that was just because I couldn't get out of the chokehold. But anyway, that was really bad, and that got me kicked out of YBC. Um, but it didn't end there. I'm sure he called on his radio, and and they called the police, and then the police showed up, and. I think it was at least, there was a few officers, quite a few. I can't tell you exactly how many. I'm, I'm sure they got they had a, they had a, quite a handful. They hogtied me and threw me into the car. I had like a rookie hold the door and see if they can bounce my head on the glass on the other side. And I was talking like mad shit, like just stupid shit. I don't even know why I was doing that. I just like toxic energy it was coming out and I think it was just like oh I'm still mad for my childhood or whatever and I just blame them for whatever reason anyway so I guess they're good enough to hate as anybody else so I just kept yelling all this like really negative shit just just negative stupid shit like everything derogatory that you could think of that you would call a cop that's what I did and I just kept pushing their buttons like all the way down to the police station but during this time you know even like when they got a hold of me I kind of went I went into blackout and then I, I came to and they're carrying me you know and, and then I went out I was blacked again and then when they opened the door and they tossed me in then as they tossed me in I went black in the blackout and then I came came back and I have a memory of them driving me a few different times during the path. So I couldn't tell you exactly which road, but I could tell you I was laying on the seat and and then I realized I was laying in a cop car and then I went to blackness again and then I came back out again and there I was. Um, um, I think I went into a longer one and they got me into the jail, but I didn't didn't realize any of the time that I was from the car to a, like a holding area. I think they were trying to cuff me up to the wall, and there's like a little chair. But I was being a belligerent idiot. Um, uh, they couldn't cuff me to the to the wall thing or something like that, or maybe they were done. I, I don't know. And there were still a few of them there. I don't know. Can't tell exactly how many. I, I don't know. Um, more than one greater than two uh, and, and there and there it is you know it, I just think I guess they couldn't get me onto the wall and it was really starting to piss them off and so I think they they jumped on top of me and kind of pushed me to the floor and got me cuffed behind my back and then because I know because I got up to my knees I was able to get up to my knees but I had my hands behind my back and this cop grabs my hair like like this, grabs my hair and slams me twice into the cement floor. Two times. Twice. And my nose from here to here, from the bridge all the way to here was completely flattened. I didn't quite know that at that moment. But I knew that it hurt. Because I remember seeing, seeing stars each time my head went down. Hold on. Hold on.